fear is really important. That's a really amazing factor, which is always there and it's lots of respect too. And I would say when I go upsiding somewhere for a free solo, I just check the last holds and everything. I just go through my mind and check the route again. And there's nothing else which can bother me during that time. So it's also the, the focus during free soloing, which pushes you around and over a lot of mental hurdles. And we really know exactly what's happening right now. So it's important to just stay focused and do your thing and keep that in mind that there's still the potential to fall. Like staying in balance, you know. You know what's happening, you train, you climb the drought a couple of times and you just feel comfortable. And when you really feel comfortable, you can do it also without the safety. And that's the main thing that you really have to just feel. And that's the cool thing because it's, it's unique. My solo climbing, I would say, is going to that high mental level where I want to be. It doesn't matter the, the grade for me. I would say just having a good time and <laughs> free soloing is just something special because it's always unique. When you are free soloing alone on the wall, you are just there, you are alone there. And it's something nice too to just sometimes be alone and do your thing in your way. It's, yeah, it's something nice. <laughs> There's no, there's no fear in that style that it's a bad fear. It's, it's good to have fear. It's important. And yeah, you just have to, to stay in balance. It's a nice feeling to see your harness going up. So you know exactly you're going to follow your harness. In. Mucho, mucho! Okay! Amazing, seriously. It's really windy, so no solo. Uh -uh. No solo base climbing. Not now. Nope, sometimes you have to wait. Right moment.